Welcome to the Centrum Schreiben Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will cover the definition, logic, and design influences for case study research designs. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to understand the nature of a case, understand that a case study research design has a unique logic, case studies are a versatile research design that allow a researcher to focus on one or more cases of a particular phenomenon and so understand complex and social phenomena. Case studies have, for example, been used to understand diverse phenomena such as managerial decision-making, local communities and business and government relationships in host countries. It is important that you do not confuse a case study research design for your research project with teaching cases. Teaching cases are stylized examples of a particular management or business problem with the intention of achieving a specific learning goal. Case study research designs, in contrast, are designed in such a manner that they ensure a sound and credible empirical research project. It is important that you understand that all case study research designs have cases which are embedded in a context. For example, the strategy of a firm is embedded in the context of the industry in which that firm operates. Case study research designs also emphasize the importance of a holistic and real-world perspective on the research focus. It is important that you understand case study research designs as an overarching approach that is highly flexible and accommodating. It can accommodate different levels of analysis, such as the individual, organizational, national, or supranational levels. Case study research designs can accommodate different research philosophies, either, for example, more post-positivist approaches which observe an external independent reality or more interpretivist approaches focused on a socially constructed phenomenon. Case study research designs can also accommodate different numbers of cases from a single case to multiple cases in a single context or multiple contexts. Case study research designs can also accommodate both qualitative and quantitative data. This can in fact be an extremely rich design for a study, although quite often many researchers tend to use case study research designs for a qualitative approach. Take a look at the picture on the right of your screen. What do you think it is that you see there? If you thought that you were looking at a topographical map of craters on a planet's surface, then you would have been correct. For the purposes of this tutorial, however, this is an excellent illustration of the nature of a context in which cases are embedded. Robert Yin defines a case study in terms of its scope and features. The scope typically includes a contemporary phenomenon in a real-world context. The scope has an unclear boundary between the case and context in which that case is embedded. And it is for this reason that the image on the right is such an excellent illustration of the relationship between a case and its context. If you were to think of each of the crater impact marks on the surface of this planet as a case, and the remainder of the image as the context for these cases, and I ask you to identify the boundary between your cases and the context, it is highly likely that you would identify a ridge around the craters. But it would be very difficult, I think, for you to identify exactly where that ridge begins and ends. This is what is meant by an unclear boundary between the case and its context. It is in fact this unclear boundary which makes the case study approach such a valuable and enriching research design, as the phenomenon that you are focused on is rarely entirely able to be separated from the context within which it is embedded. 
one of the more objective features of case study research designs is that they typically include very large amounts of data that the researcher needs to be able to deal with. And that this data is more often than not collected from multiple different sources to ensure a high degree of construct validity. In other words, that we are actually studying those aspects of the phenomenon that we are interested in and have the data that we need to be able to draw meaningful conclusions about them. So it is important that you recognize that the case study research design represents the logic and not the logistical problem for completing your research project. There is no single recipe for designing case study research projects. It is also critical that you recognize that both the theory that you decide to include in your project and the nature of the phenomenon that you are studying will have a significant influence on the final design that you choose for your case study research project. Case study research projects are also most suited to answering one of two types of research questions, either a how or a why research question. That is because these questions tend to require you as a researcher to focus on underlying mechanisms or processes that explain an outcome that you are interested in. Case study designs include four main elements. The context, the cases, the embedded units of analysis, and the replication logic of a multiple case study research design. The Centrum Schreiben has a separate tutorial that explains how these four elements can be combined. Thanks for listening. And if you have any further questions or ideas for future tutorials, please contact us at Centrum Schreiben. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up below.